From upstream production to end consumers, Malaysia's gas sector encompasses a complete value chain. Upstream companies produce gas in offshore blocks under a production sharing agreement with Petronas, which is the country's national oil and gas company. The full name given is Petro Petroleum National Berhad, also known as Petronas. They hold exclusive ownership rights to all oil and natural gas exploration and production projects in Malaysia. The oil and gas deposits in the shallow waters of Peninsular Malaysia and Sarawak, which have been the focus of development activities since the 1960s, have served as the foundation for Malaysia's upstream sector. Much of the gas discovered in Peninsular Malaysia has been coupled with oil discoveries in the form of associated gas. This made it easier to develop gas reserves at a low cost. Malaysia's natural gas industry's downstream segment consists most, mostly of domestic consumption and exports. Sarawak was the birthplace of Malaysia's do domestic gas market, which began in the early 1960s with the installation of domestic and commercial pipe gas. Peninsular Malaysia followed suit in 1984. The diagram shows that there are actually three sectors in the natural gas or oil and gas facilities in Malaysia, which is upstream, midstream and downstream. But this presentation focuses more on upstream and downstream process. Midstream is just for transport and storage, whereas upstream is for the production of the natural gas and downstream is for the export exportation of the natural gas. In Malaysia, almost all of the gas fields are located offshore. Petronas, which is our national oil and gas company, is the dominant player in natural gas sector. Whereas Shell is the second largest natural gas producer in Malaysia. Other companies such as ExxonMobil, JX Nippon Oil and Gas, Petron, Pertamina, and many more are listed in the diagram that have attached below. For gas production, Sarawak accounts for approximately 52% of the country's natural resources, and then followed by Peninsular Malaysia with about 35%, and lastly Sabah with around 14%. This diagram shows the sources of gas supply that is connected in Peninsular Malaysia. For your information, Malaysia is recognized as one of the world's largest natural gas producers and exporters. Malaysia has one of the most extensive natural pipeline networks in Asia, which has the total of 1,530 miles. Most of the pipelines are located in Peninsular Malaysia and known as the Peninsular Gas Utilization Pipeline Network. This network transports natural gas. The major pipelines in Sarawak and Sabah transport natural gas from their offshore fields to power plants. This picture shows the map of the exploration and production licensing blocks in Malaysia for upstream oil and gas sector. The process that convert oil and gas into the finished product are known as downstream operations. The operations include refineries and marketing. In refinery service, crude oil is refined into reusable products such as gasoline, diesel and natural gas liquid. In marketing service, the finished product is transferred to retailers or end users. Companies in the downstream sector are the ones closest to the clients. For example, Marathon Petroleum and Philips 66. Downstream operations consist of a few elements such as distribution, wholesaling, retailing, as well as customer service. Inefficient customer service can negatively impact the sale of the final product. This is because it is the final bridge between the product and the end user. 
efficient customer service ensure that the product is safely received by the end user or the retailer. Moving on to the production process examples of a downstream sector. Converting crude oil into reusable products and market them are under the care of downstream sector of a petroleum industry. Refineries are facilities that operate in the downstream process of oil production. However, any kind of plant that process raw materials may qualify as operating within the downstream stage of production. In short, the upstream sector companies are involved primarily with oil discovery, extraction and production. Instead, downstream oil companies are in charge of refining and transporting petroleum products to customers. Upstream operation consists of exploring new landscape for oil potential, discovering the crude oil, drilling and extracting the crude oil, and the initial discovery part. Meanwhile, Downstream operations, as previously said, are process that take place following the production process and end up to the point of sale. That's all from us. Thank you.